Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are covering the printf static function of the fstring class. This function is used to format strings using different types of input parameters. So let's get started. So like I discussed in the numeric conversion video, there is another way to convert integers and floats to strings using the printf function. And what we can do is let's define an int and a float. So let's say int val equals three and const float float val equals 17.2f. And what we can do is use the printf function to convert it using following syntax. So let's define a string, for example, call it test string one equals f string colon colon using the printf function. And then of course use the text macro. And what we can use do is using these percent %d f or s possibilities to say we convert this to or convert a variable as a specific parameter. I'll go more in detail in a short second. So I will just show this first. So let's use the interval. We are using d for integers, f string, test string two. Let's copy this and use the f for float and you can see that writer this IDE automatically says cannot convert this so that's a great help from this IDE and we use the float val and there's also a percent %s that I will show in a second for strings so we can actually format strings using these kind of indicators and the variables so in this case, this is how you would also do the conversion from int and float. And you can see it here in the library where basically when you convert an int and float in blueprints to the string, then internally this, the Kismet string library uses the printf functionality. But printf cannot only convert stuff, but it's used for, let's say, formatting. So let's define a string that we are going to set as the text and show. Let's call it output string. And let's use the printf function with a text and put some values in there. So you could say something like number of lives and then put in the percent %d for an integer and add our int val. So the percent %d is replaced actually with the actual variable. The same in here, but we don't have any text beforehand, so it would just put that integer into our test string one. But like with formatting, we can use real text and add as many of these placeholders for our variables. So let's test this first. So let's uncomment this, copy this, and like we learned from string, and do the output string. Compile this. Let's head over to our editor, hit the execute, and you can see number of life three. And it's like I said, you can use as many of these. So we could actually say time and put in the f and add another variable, the float value, hit compile, head over, hit play, hit execute, and you can see the time as well. So in a sense, printf is used for formatting. And what you can also do is if we say we have, let's say a string and call it text equals text and maybe do like this number of lives as a text. So we would then use the percent %s as a placeholder, colon, and then would place the text before. And we don't add the text itself. In here, it's the same as with the f name. The printf doesn't use the text itself. It needs the pointer to that array. So this is how you would do it with text or with strings. And if we compile, head over, hit play, you can see same thing. 
So this is how you use the printf function to format your strings in ways with placeholders that you can then put variables as parameters for these placeholders and use percent %s for string, percent %d for integers, and percent %f for floats. And there are so many more things, I think. You can look that up in the documentation. So, But this is the main things that you will use. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I try to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if, it, if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.